Yeah, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Notre Dame Prep in Scottsdale. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage of Saguaro Sabercats varsity baseball, and the Sabercats back at it again here on the road at Notre Dame to take on the top team in Division II baseball. The Notre Dame Saints currently sit number one in power points in Division II baseball. And Ben Lagus is leading off for the Sabercats here in the top of the first inning. Saguaro 12 and 12 on the year. And a swing and a miss for Lagusis as we uh, lost some power there momentarily. But, uh, Lagusis goes down on strikes and that's how the ball game starts for the Sabercats against Saguaro 12 and 12 on the year. Notre Dame sits at 18 and five. And the Saints 10 and one in PowerPoint ball games while Saguaro is at seven and six. And Turner Lace at the plate, fouls a pitch straight back to the backstop for strike one. So Lagusas leads off at second base, Turner Lace bats second at shortstop. Brad Adams, the catcher, is third. The number four hitter is the first baseman, Matt Mara. Michael Bloom in left field will bat fifth. And a ground ball hits slowly out to short, fielded there. And a throw on to first base, and that is in time, and there's two away in the Sabercat first. Get through the rest of their order then. The number six hitter is the third baseman, Shane Stansbury. Jack Jeffries, DH, is in bat seventh. The number eight hitter is the center fielder, Luke Eichstee, and JT Nettleton, the right fielder, rounds out the Sabercat order. Two batters and two outs to begin the ball game for Saguaro. And now Brett Adams. Adams takes... Ball one from Devin Durad. The 1-0 pitch. A little bit low for a ball, and it's 2-0. So it's Durad on the mound for Notre Dame. Ryan Scott catches. Duncan Morfitt's at first base. Cooper Samples at second. Kobe Foppy, the shortstop. Devin Young at third. And the next one misses 3-0. The outfield for the Saints. Nick of Fronty in left field. Jimmy Detroit in center, and Hunter Bross in right. Now the one and the 3-0. And yeah, that's low for ball four. So after a strikeout and a ground out to begin the ball game, it's a four-pitch walk to Brett Adams. And he'll leave uh, first base for a courtesy runner as Nick Lebroni will run at first base. So Lebroni at first with two away. And the batter, as I said, the first baseman, Matt Mara. And that first pitch over for a strike. So after a four-pitch walk, Terod comes back and throws strike one to Mara. Working out of the stretch for the first time, the fastball misses high, and it's one and one. One and one on Matt Mara. Michael Bloom next. For Saguaro. And the fastball misses outside, and it's two and one. The set, the two one pitch, and that fouled straight back, and it's two and two. It's a tough sun for the fans, and uh, maybe the first baseman a little bit as the sun sets here, and it'll be uh, not an issue in another few minutes or so. Yeah, the 2-2. Runner goes and a swing and a miss will end the inning as Matt Mara strikes out. And Durant with two strikeouts in the top of the first inning for the Sabercats. No runs, no hits, a two-out walk. The runner left at first and after a half inning of play, it's Saguaro nothing and Notre Dame coming up to face Stephen Gifford. Set to go in the bottom of the first inning. Kobe Foppy leads off and takes strike one from Stephen Gifford. Foppy leads off and plays shortstop for Notre Dame. Cooper Samples bats second at second base. Devin Durant, the pitcher, is third. The 0-1 over for a strike, and it's nothing in two. 
Nick Affronti bats cleanup for the Saints in left field. Ryan Scott fifth behind the plate. Duncan Morfitt at first base is sixth. Hunter Bross in right field, the number seven hitter. And a slow tapper might be trouble there. Now picked up nicely, and they throw on to first base, and that is in time. So Foppy grounds out, got behind on the count, had to reach for a pitch there, and rolls a soft ground ball on the left side. And a 5-3 ground down to the batter is Cooper Samples. The two around out the Saints order. I mentioned Bross hitting seventh. Devin Young at third base is the number eight hitter, and the number nine spot of the order is held down by the center fielder, Jimmy Detroit. Swing and miss for Cooper Samples for strike one. One out, base is empty in the bottom of the first and no score. And the next pitch misses for a ball and it's one and one. So Arnold got a two out walk but left the runner at first base in the top of the first. Pitch over for a strike. And they count one and two. And Gifford ready and the one-two pitch. Hey, and a swing and a miss. Samples down on strikes. And there's two away for Devin Durant. Defense for the Sabercats, Bloom, Eichsty, and Nettleton in the outfield. Stansbury and Lace on the left side of the infield. Lagusis and Mara on the right. Adams catching Gifford. And there's a swing and a miss, strike one. Two outs, bases empty, bottom of the first inning. No score from Notre Dame Prep in Scottsdale. The one strike pitch. Hard hit ball fouled off. On the right side of the count, 0 and 2. And a two strike pitch and a swing and a miss. Gifford with a couple of strikeouts in the first inning. And it's a three up, three down first for Notre Dame after one inning of play from Notre Dame Prep in Scottsdale. There's no score. Michael Bloom leads it off for the Sabre Cats, top of the second inning. And the first pitch looked pretty good. Called a ball, though. Bloom, Stansbury, and Jeffries for the Sabercats in the second. And the next one, a fastball high, and it's 2-0. Oh. Tough one on the schedule here tonight for the Sabercats for sure. And, of course, these two teams met a few weeks back over at Packard Stadium on the campus of Arizona State University, and that was uh, all Notre Dame in that one. Pitch over the outside corner for a strike, and it's 2-1. Pitch outside, three and one. Sabercats with a win on Monday over Paradise Valley, scoring 11 runs in the first inning on their way to a 12-1-5 inning win. And the pitch misses for ball four. So Bloom walks to begin the second inning for the Sabercats. And the batter is Shane Stansbury. Stansbury in there at ready. Durad ready, and the bunt is on. It's popped up in foul territory and a diving try for Scott. Couldn't get to it, but a good effort there. The ball falls foul for strike one. Durad, great numbers for the Saints. 4-0 record on the season, an earned run average of 2.44, making his seventh appearance of the year. 28 and two-thirds innings pitched, only 21 hits allowed to go along with 12 walks and 40 strikeouts. The one strike pitch, Stansbury late on the fastball. It maybe was elevated some, and the count goes to 0 and 2. No score top of the second inning. Sabercats get the leadoff hitter aboard at first. Stansbury down on the count 0 and 2, though, as Derod sets in the pitch. And that's at the knee, strike three. First down of the inning, and uh, the third strikeout for Derod. As he retires Stansbury, and now we'll go after Jack Jeffries. And Jeffries is 
Again, started to come around some. Had that three-run home run last week. Takes a pitch on the outside corner, and I think that's a part of what Sabercats are going to look for here in the final couple of weeks of the regular season. They need another couple of guys to start swinging the bats. Now the set and the one-strike pitch. Time called. They're out, went ahead and let it go. Ball's in a strike. Jeffries ready. Durad with the set, and the right-hander delivers. And a pitch fouled out of play, and the count goes to 0-2. And, one on one out, and I think that, uh, you know, that uh, sacrifice attempt for Stansbury on the first pitch, that just kind of shows where Sawano sits right now offensively. And they got to scratch for runs even in the early going. The set and the pitch. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw to second base, strike him out, throw him out, double play. Will end the inning. Jeffries goes uh, around there for the strikeout, and then Bloom caught stealing. And that ends the Sabercats' second inning after an inning and a half from Notre Dame. There's no score. Nick Affronti leads off for the Saints in the bottom of the second inning. And a swing and a miss on a pitch down in the dirt from Stephen Gifford. And that's strike one. Affronti, Scott, and Morfitt for the Saints in the second. Fastball from Gifford high and outside, and it's one and one. And the one one was. Uh, off the outside corner, but a front to offers and misses, and it's one and two. Or Stephen Gifford, 2 0 record on the season with a 2.80 earned run average, making his 11th appearance of the year and gets a swing and a miss for our front on a strikeout, and that's three straight strikeouts for Gifford, and it's the first down of the inning. Now, one away for the catcher, Ryan Scott. First pitch, low for ball one. But uh, Gifford, as I said, his 11th appearance, 25 innings pitch coming into today's play as he gets a swing and a miss there, and it's one and one. 24 hits allowed, 16 walks, 21 strikeouts. Now the one one. Over the outside corner, a strike. So a backdoor breaking ball there for Gifford, and the count moves to one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count on Scott with the bases empty and one away. And Gifford with the pitch. That's bounced in there, and it's two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And a breaking ball swung over the top of and another strikeout. Two away in the inning. Four strikeouts for Gifford. And the batter, Duncan Morfitt. And a swing and a miss. Fastball tailing away a little bit from those right-handed hitters. The ball ends up much farther outside than it looks like it should be, or it looks like it's going to be. And the one-strike pitch. That's on the handle and hit down the left field line over to get it Bloom. He was shaky running out after the end of the top of the second inning. Hobbling a little bit on the left leg, maybe the ankle from sliding in at second base, but... Makes the catch, and it's another three-up, three-down inning for Notre Dame. After two, there's no score. Eight, nine, and one in the order for Saguaro. Top of the third inning, and Luke Ixty steps in. And Ixty going after the first one. Right on it, fouls it back, and it's strike one. Ixty, Nettleton, and Lagusis 
for Solaro in the top of the third. Definitely not the start that Solaro had on Monday at home against Paradise Valley, but competition has ramped up a bunch here today as that pitch is fouled to the fence, and it's 0-2. On to the line of the 0-2 pitch. Way out in front, went with a breaking ball and missed it high for ball one. Should be a cool night as the sun goes down here. Got a little bit of a breeze as we usually have when we play out here at uh, Notre Dame. A breaking ball outside and it's two and two. A lot of open space around the school here. And uh, once you get that breeze going then, especially when it uh, was already a cooler day, it'll See the temperatures drop quickly and a fastball is high for ball three and it's three and two. Now Durad with a 3-2 pitch. Check swing and watch out. That was close over there in the first base side. Just missed Nettleton and uh, Dominic Berg standing right on the pole next to the uh, Sabercat opening of the dugout. Just missed both of them over there. And a pitch fouled out of play down the right field side. And we stay at three balls and two strikes. Boy, I remember a game here a couple of years ago when we were covering for Notre Dame playing Seton Catholic and uh, their assistant coach at the time, Ed Yeager, who had been a uh, coach at the head coach at Scottsdale Community College is now the athletic director at Chandler Gilbert Community College. Took one off the finger, I think it was, and uh, split it open pretty good. There's a called third strike over the outside corner. Ixty thought that might have been away as he was starting down the first base line, but punched out on strikes. And that is strikeout number five for Devin Durad. And now face JT Nettleton. Well, for the Sabercats, nice to have Nettleton back in the lineup as uh, they have, had been without him for several weeks, and so that gives him one more bat and one more piece in the puzzle there as he takes strike one on the inside corner. Base is empty, one out, top of the third, no score. The 0 1 pitch bounced in there, and it's 1 and 1. One ball, one strike on Nettleton, the number nine hitter in the Sabercat order. The leadoff hitter, Ben Lagus, is next. And a tapper over toward third base. Fielded there, and a the throw not in time as Nettleton hustles down the line, and it's an infield base hit. Not really much Young could do there. He had to just wait for that high hop to come down and then got rid of the ball in a hurry, but not fast enough as the runner is aboard at first. So a base hit. First hit of the ball game for either side. And for the third inning in a row, the Sabercats get a base runner on. And with Nettleton aboard at first, the batter Ben Lagusis, who came in batting 366 with a double and six RBI. Struck out his first time. And he takes a strike in the outside corner. Kind of figured he was going to shorten there to Bond, and that'll help to maybe draw the third baseman Young in a step or two. And then uh, see if he can slap one past him. Also got uh, room on the right side with the first baseman holding. And that pitch fouled off. And to the backstop. So Durad pumping up strikes here as Lagusis falls behind on the count 0-2. But Sawaro got a two-out walk in the first inning, left that runner there. A leadoff walk in the second. He was thrown out trying to steal to end the second inning. And now a one-out single in the third. Not looking in, now we'll set. Nettleton with the lead. Boy, he jumps early and trouble here is a throw down to second base and out the call at second. Looked like Nettleton almost got in there. But I think that's one of those situations where it looked like the throw was going to beat him by so much that as long as the uh, middle infielder hangs onto the baseball, they're going to punch him out. And sure enough, that's what happened. So another caught stealing. Now a strike away from getting out of it here in the 
And Lagusis slaps that one foul on the third base side. So now two outs and the base is empty. Top of the third inning and no score. Gerard right back to it, another two strike pitch. And a breaking ball, that's over the outside corner for a called third strike. Two more strikeouts in the inning for Durant. He's got six through three innings of play, and we move to the bottom of the third. There's no score. Seven, eight, and nine for the Saints in the third inning, and Hunter Bross with a swing and a miss on a breaking ball for strike one. And Gifford with the one strike pitch. Bounced in there for a ball, and it's one and one. Six up and six down so far for the Saints. It's the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the third. The fastball is high, and it's two and one. Offense not uh, been able to do anything for the Sabercats against Durant, and so that puts more pressure on Gifford each time he comes out. Boy, it looked like he went around there, and he did, according to the plate umpire, and they count two and two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And grounded back up the middle, but they had Lagusa shaded that way behind the bag and the throw on to first. And that's in time, and a 4-3 ground out retires Bross. And one out for Devin Young, the Saints third baseman. First pitch to Young outside, four ball one. And Gifford with the pitch. That's over for a strike, and it's one and one. Seven up and seven down for Gifford as he faces Devin Young, the one-one pitch. And a fastball high and outside, two and one. Gifford ready in the 2-1. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball, and it's 2-2. Two and two. No score, bottom of the third. A lot of baseball to go here at Notre Dame. As that one is bounced in, and it's 3-2. and two. Kind of the buzz around here for uh, baseball, anyway, for Notre Dame is the game on Friday when the Saints will host Desert Mountain. Both teams currently sit at number one in their respective divisions in power points. And that pitch will miss for ball four. First base runner of the game for Notre Dame. It comes with one out in the third. That breaks up seven in a row to start the ball game, retired by Gifford. And now he faces Jimmy Detroit. Pitching with a base runner on for the first time, and the first pitch is bounced in for ball one. The set in the 1 0, and that's over for a strike. It's 1 and 1. Young with the lead at first base. And Gifford's 1-1. One, one. And a breaking ball swung on a miss. It's 1-2. and two. And here's Gifford again riding in the 1-2 pitch. Well, that one didn't miss by much. Call the ball, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Two-two pitch, and a swing and a miss. Detroit down on strikes. That's strikeout number five for Gifford, and there's two away in the Saints' third inning. 
And they go back to the top of their order for Kobe Foppy, who came in batting 324 with three doubles and seven RBI. And a pitch from Gifford over the outside corner, strike one. set and a look over to first base the one strike pitch and a tapper back Gifford has it and he'll step and throw it to first base and it's in time Saints get their first base runner of the ball game it's a one out walk with the runner left at first base and after three innings of play from Notre Dame there's still no score Turner Lace leads things off for the Sabercats in the fourth and takes a curveball High for ball one. Lace hitting 391 on the year. Five doubles, a triple, 21 knocked in. And a fastball from Durad High for a ball, two and two. oh. And pitch over for a strike, and it's two and one. Turner grounded out to Foppy at shortstop his first time up. And there's a swing and a miss. A little bit late there, it looked like, and it's two and two. Time called. Lee's trying to break up Durant's rhythm here. Now back to it, and the 2-2 two -two pitch. And a swing and a foul tip into the glove. That's a strikeout. And that is strikeout number seven for Durant. Seven strikeouts through three and a third. And he'll face Brett Adams. Brett batting 424 coming into this one. 17 doubles, 18 RBI. And he walked in the first. And the first pitch over the outside corner for a strike. The 0 1. And a breaking ball. Looked like that might have been up a bit, but uh, called a strike, and it's 0 and 2. And Durant's two strike pitch. Fastball, and Adams lays off. See, he started that swing, but held up. And the count 1 and 2. Mad Mara next for the Sabercats. The one two. And a breaking ball swung on and missed. Strikeout number eight for Devin Durant. Again, he came in with 40 strikeouts in 28 and two thirds innings, but he's mowing down the Sabercats here tonight. Now, Matt Mara, who struck out to end the first inning, came in batting 404. Five doubles, a triple, two homers, 17 knocked in. Pitch outside, two balls and no strikes. And a 2 0 pitch. That's outside, 3 0. Michael Bloom next for Saguaro. We'll see if he gets a chance to hit here in the fourth. Durant going to try to come all the way back. The 3 0 pitch gets the first one over for a strike. And it's 3 and 1. Three one pitch. Oh, a called strike. Borderline at best there, and it's three and two. Although when you're throwing like Durant is, eight strikeouts and three and two thirds, the strike zone probably gets a little bit bigger. And that'll miss for ball four. So the string continues for Notre Dame getting a base runner on. They've had one on in each of the first four innings, but they've not had a runner to second base. Adams, courtesy runner, was left at first in the first, and then the base runners in the second and third were each caught stealing. Now Bloom going after the first one, and it's a fly ball into shallow right field. And it's Bross out there, and he makes the catch. 
And that will end the inning. So Bloom flies out to end the fourth, and the Saints shut down the uh, Sabercats again here in the fourth inning. No runs, no hits, another walk, and a runner left on base. Midpoint of the ball game from Notre Dame. There's no score. Cooper Samples, the leadoff hitter in the Saints' bottom of the fourth. Takes first one from Gifford outside for a ball. Samples batting 301, three doubles, two triples, two homers, 13 knocked in. That's a strike, and it's one and one. Now Gifford matching Durant as far as the zeros in each half inning, trying to match him again here in the fourth. Falling behind a little bit in strikeouts, but still just as effective. He's allowed just one base runner through three innings. The 2 1 pitch. Fastball. Tails outside and high. 3 and 1. 2 3 and 4 in the order for the Saints in the fourth. And the 3 1. And that's ball four and a leadoff walk in the fourth inning with the meat of the order coming up for the Saints. Now Devin Arad, who struck out to end the first inning, hitting 362 on the year, nine, uh, nine double six home runs, and 32 runs knocked in. He's bunting, and that's down the third baseline. A good bunt there. Stansbury will throw. And uh, safe, and now, uh, well, they had the runner way off the bag, but uh, nowhere to put him. And so, or nobody there to cover, and so he's able to get back to the bag. And now time called as Durant will come off. And Coach Dyer coming off, or coming out of the dugout, asking the question is, did he come off the bag or did uh, they just beat it down the line? And I think he just said that he beat it. I don't know for sure, but uh, I think that's what he said. So it'll be a bunt base hit for Derod. Samples goes to second, and now two aboard for Nick Affronti. So two aboard with nobody out. Saints in business in the bottom of the fourth. And a fronty showing bunt takes low. Or did he go around? Maybe he went around there. Yeah, it sounds like he did. So strike one on a fronty. Next struck out in the second inning. Came in hitting 478. Four doubles, two triples, five homers, 30 knocked in. The one strike pitch. Bunted. Gifford will field, oh, and he won't field it. And he was trying to hurry it to maybe have a play at third base instead of making sure of the one at first. And that'll be a sacrifice and an E1. And it loads the bases for the Saints, and the batter will be Ryan Scott. Now a walk start of the inning and started the mess, at least as far as Saguaro's concerned. Durant beat out a bunt single, and then a frontier with a bunt back that Gifford did not pick up clean, and that loads the bases. And the first one to Ryan Scott outside for a ball. Scott hitting 221 with a triple and two home runs, seven knocked in. He struck out his first time up. First time through the order, five strikeouts for Gifford, not faring as well the second time through the order. A swing and a miss, and it's one and one. No score bottom of the fourth inning, but an unbelievable opportunity here for the Saints. The base is loaded and nobody out in the bottom of the fourth. Infield in for Saguaro, the one-one pitch. And a high pop-up into a shallow, actually a little bit deeper out there in right field. The catch made. The runner's going to come about halfway down the line. The good throw as... Adams smothers the ball right at the plate. And so Nettleton makes the catch in right field. And Samples 
like I said, went about halfway down the line, wanted to see if the uh, throw was on the line and if it was coming plateward. And then he had to turn and scurry back to third base. So the Sabercats get the first out. Now uh, trying to find a way to get a couple more here is Duncan Morph at bats. He had a fly ball to Bloom in left field his first time up. And he takes high for ball one. Morfitt hitting 369 on the year, 10 doubles, two triples, and a home run. He's knocked in 11. Gifford looking in as Adams goes through the signs, the 1 0 pitch. And a ground ball down the line, off the glove of Stansbury, and he will not have a play. That was a tough play on the backhand there. And a couple of bounces down the line. And that'll bring in a run as the Saints get one here in the bottom of the fourth inning, and they lead 1-0, and they're looking for more now with the bases still loaded and one away. And the batter is Hunter Bross. And the first one to Bross over for a strike. He grounded out his first time up, hitting 273 on the year, three doubles, two triples, two homers, and 14 knocked in. And that ball hit down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble. And it's uh, off the glove. Nettleton got to it in right field, but it went off his glove. Boy, and again, Notre Dame just uh, gets one run there as they go station to station. I'm a little surprised they didn't get that second run in. Nettleton got over there and should have made the catch. And that'll be an E9 to bring in a run. And timeout call from the Saber Cat dugout as we play in the bottom of the fourth inning. The Saints have scored twice and they lead two to nothing. And we get back to it on a fastball to Devin Young on the outside corner, a strike. He walked his first time up, adding 217 on the year, three doubles, 10 RBI. And that ball fouled out of play, and it's 0 and 2. And the 0-2 from Gifford. Fastball, high and away, maybe trying to get him chased there. One and two on Young. Jimmy Detroit next for the Saints. And they'll look back at the 1-2. And a ground ball. Lace, Fields out at second, on to first base. There with a stretch and a double play. And a much needed double play there for Sawaro. But the uh, Saints get a couple of runs in the fourth inning, and after four, they lead Saguaro by a score of two to nothing. Shane Stansbury, the leadoff hitter in the fifth inning for Saguaro, takes strike one. Stansbury hitting 230, seven doubles, a triple, and 11 knocked in. Pitch a ball, and it's one and one. And the one-one pitch. And that's fouled out of play on the right side. It's one and two. And the one and the one-two pitch. And a ground ball over to first base, grabbed there by Morfitt. And a tap of the bag at first, and the leadoff hitter retired in the Sabercat fifth. And there's one away for Jack Jeffries. Jeffries ready. Swing and a miss for strike one. Jack hitting 212, two doubles, a triple, two home runs, and nine knocked in. He struck out in the second. The 0 1 pitch. And a swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. They're 
Not back to it. The 0 2. And a swing and a miss. Strikeout number nine. And out number two in the inning at about Luke Eigesty. Eigesty hitting 213, two double, six RBI. First one to Luke misses low for ball one. The 1 0 pitch over the outside corner, a strike. It's 1 and 1. Two outs, bases empty, top of the fifth inning. Sabercats trailing the Saints 2 to nothing. And the next one outside, and it's 2 and 1. Saguaro off tomorrow. They'll be on the road on Friday afternoon over at Shadow Mountain. Pitch over a strike, and it's two and two. The wind and the two-two. Ooh, that looked pretty good. Call the ball, though, and it's three and two. Nine strikeouts for Durant. He's walked three. And the 3-2 pitch. Fouled out of play down the right side. <coughs> if Einstein can reach, JT Nettleton will bat for the Sabercats here in the fifth. And the 3-2. And that's hit back up the middle, and that's into center field. Base hit for Luke Einstein. with the two-out single, and that's the first base hit of the ball game for Sawaro. Notre Dame just one base hit. In fact, in that fourth inning, they scored two runs on only one hit, and that was that bunt single. Three Sabercat errors, three runners left. Uh, actually, yeah, two runners left, I beg your pardon. So a ball to JT Nettleton hitting 310, couple of doubles, couple of triples, three RBI. Just trying to keep the inning going here. The 1 0 pitch. Maybe outside, maybe low, 2 0. Ike's the at first with two away in the Sabercat fifth. So Aros had a couple of runners caught stealing today. The 2 0. And a swing and a miss. It's two and one. And the two one. I don't know if he was bluffing to not go there or if he just didn't get a good jump over there. Almost looked like he kind of blew a tire about three steps in. And again, that might have been by design that he was just trying to bluff. The problem with bluffing, though, is you also maybe bluff on the hitter a little bit as well. Two and two on Nettleton. Laying off. On the appeal. Nettleton did not go around, so the count three and two, and now Ike's D will take off with a full count. And uh, two outs. Nyxty will take off from first base, a chance to score on an extra base hit. And Durad steps off. So Warren still has not had a runner to second base tonight. They have had one batter on in each of the first five innings. But only one and never passed first. The set, and now the 3-2 with the runner going. The ball hit on the ground, and that's through it into left field, a base hit. Eichsty will take a turn, but stop at second base. And JT Nettleton singles on a 3-2 fastball into left field, and that puts two aboard with two outs. 
And it's at the top of the order for Ben Lagusis and a timeout from the Notre Dame dugout. We play at the top of the fifth inning. Sabercats trailing the Saints two to nothing. Now yeah, Ben Lagusis. He takes high for ball one. Back to second, the 1-0 pitch. And this is outside 2-0. Oh. They're on with a set and the 2-0 oh pitch. And a foul tip and a strike. It's 2-1. Two 2-0 one. Two Notre Dame. Saints got both of their runs in the bottom of the fourth inning. And now the Sabercats batting in the top of the fifth with the tying runs aboard, but two outs in the inning. And Durant steps off. Durant has a quick conversation with Samples. He wants to see a second baseman a little bit closer to the bag, I guess, at second. The 2-1, and a swing and a miss. It's 2-2. Two two. Ixty at second, Nettleton at first with two outs for the Sabercats in the top of the fifth. A 2-2 count on Lagusis. If he can reach, Turner Lace will bat. The 2-2. And that's fouled off. Again, as he sets and checks back to second, the 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Yeah! And Lagusa strikes down to end the Sabercat threat in the fifth inning. That's strikeout number 10 for Devin Durad. And for the Sabercats in the fifth, no runs on two hits, and they leave two. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and Saguaro trails Notre Dame by a score of 2 to nothing. 9-1 and 2 in the order for the Saints in the bottom of the fifth inning. Jimmy Detroit leads off. Takes high for ball one. He struck out his first time up. Came in batting 375, three doubles, three triples, and 12 knocked in. The 1 0 pitch. High again, 2 0. Sabercats get a right hander going in the bullpen. And that might be trouble out into right center field, but Nettleton comes on and on the run makes the catch. And leadoff hitter retired for Notre Dame in the fifth. Back to the top of the order for Kobe Foppy. Foppy a couple of ground outs in two at-bats today. Takes a strike near the outside corner. And a ground ball over to third. Stansbury gets around it and throws too high at first base. And Foppy aboard. That'll be an E5, the fourth error of the game for the Sabercats. Given Notre Dame extra outs, and they for sure did that in the fourth inning when the Saints got both of their runs. And instead of two outs and the base is empty, it's one out with a runner at first base. And Cooper samples to the plate for the Saints. He struck out on the first, walked and scored in the fourth. And he takes the first pitch outside for ball one. One zero pitch and a swing and a miss on a breaking ball. One and one. Care for the left-hander sets as he checks to first. The runner goes. The ball bunted, and uh, boy, Gifford gave way for a moment as the uh, throw to first base is just in time. 
Gifford started to give away, thinking that Stansbury was going to take it. And uh, took a glance again, saw that he wasn't coming after it, and so Steven had to go after it and then pour a strike over to first base. Higher samples on a close play. Now Durad going after the first one and a break there for Saguaro as that'll get him out of the inning. A pop-up off the handle to Lace and the Saints are done in the bottom of the fifth inning and it goes quickly after the uh, out at second and then or at uh, first base rather than the pop-up. No runs, no hits, an error and one left through five innings of play from Notre Dame. The Saints lead the Sabercats two to nothing. Two, three, and four in the order for Saguaro in the sixth inning. And a new pitcher out there for Notre Dame. And if you're a Sabercat fan, I think uh, you got to be grateful for the change. And that's not to say that this next pitcher won't uh, have success. It just uh, got to be happy to see Devin Durant off the mound for Notre Dame. The count goes to 2-0 and on Lace. Jimmy Holleran, the new pitcher for the Saints. Holleran 2-0 and on the year with a 3.05 earned run average. And there's a ground ball. That's foul outside of third base in the count. Goes to two and one. Halloran making his eighth appearance. He's got a couple of saves on the year. He's tossed 18 and a third innings for Notre Dame, allowed 20 hits, five walks, nine strikeouts. Next pitch misses, three balls and a strike. Three-one pitch, and a ground ball foul, and it's three and two. So the unofficial line for Devin Durant: five innings pitched, two hits allowed, no runs, three walks, ten strikeouts, and unofficially through 83 pitches. And boy, that didn't miss by much. A little bit of low ball four, and a leadoff walk. Chance now the Sabercats with the meat of their order up. And the tying run at the plate as the Sabercats trail the Saints two to nothing in the top of the sixth. And the first pitch is outside for ball one. pitch. Low for a ball, 2-0. and oh. And that'll send Scott out to talk to Halloran. The 2-0 -oh pitch. And Adams going after it. Gives a charge out to right center field. Detroit on the run. Still going. And it's up against the fence. Sabercats are going to get a run as Adams, the doubles machine, has another one for Saguaro. His 18th double of the season. And he knocks in his 19th run of the year. The Sabercats on the board in the sixth inning. It's two to one. And Lebroni will come out to run at second base for Adams. The tying run in scoring position with nobody out here in the sixth inning. Mad Mare at the plate for the Sabercats. I've seen Notre Dame a couple of times this year. You know, including the time they played Sawar. We saw him in the Cleats Classic in uh, some of our extra coverage that we do. As the first pitch to Matt Barra is low for a ball, but to me, a head scratcher why Durant comes out of the ball game for Notre Dame. Five innings, 83 pitches, and he was dealing 10 strikeouts as the next pitch misses, and it's 2 0. But that's the decisions that coaches are asked to make, and that's where they uh, earn part of their stipends. Uh, pitch over for a strike, and it's two and one. And it may work out for Notre Dame in today's game, and it may help them down the road if they uh, got uh, Durant shut down a little bit early here in this one as the next pitch is low three and one. Tying run at second. Go ahead, run at the plate for the Saber catch with nobody out on the top of the sixth. The 
3-1. Mara had a hack, but uh, fouled it off, and it's 3-2. The 3-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Mara strikes out. And a big first out there for the Saints. And now the batter is Michael Bloom. Bloom with a walk and a fly out in two trips to the plate tonight. And the first pitch from Halloran over for a strike. So you kind of reset here if you're Saguaro. You're down a run. That uh, ball is fouled off, and it's 0-2. And, and if, you know, if you think about it, if you're down 2-1, to one, going into the sixth inning, you get the leadoff guy on. Maybe you bunt him to second base, so you got a runner at second with one out. That's right where you're at right now. So nothing hurt for the Sabercats. Now they got two outs to try to get that tying run in from second base. The set from Hollow run into pitch. A breaking ball, and Plume just able to lay off, and they count one and two. Another breaking ball bounced in. Oh, trouble here. Oh, the ball comes out, so uh, break there for Saguaro. As that ball bounced in, Scott made a great play behind the plate for Notre Dame and threw a strike to uh, third base, and that would have been trouble there as uh, Lebroni nearly ran into the out at third base. But instead, he will go to third. And the infield comes in for Notre Dame, the 2-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that throw down to first base. And that's the second out. So a strikeout and a 2-3 put out. And Bloom is out number two in the inning. And the batter is Shane Stansbury. And Stansbury, it's a ground ball, should get Notre Dame out of the inning, and it does the throw on to first base. And that retires the side. The Sabercats get a run after a leadoff walk here in the sixth inning on an RBI double from Brad Adams. And after five and a half, Notre Dame leads Saguaro two to one. Nick Affronti, the leadoff hitter for the Saints in the sixth inning. And the first one from Gifford bounces in for a ball. So now it's on Gifford and the Sabercats to put up a zero here in the sixth inning and give their offense a chance in the top of the seventh. The 1-1 one -one pitch. This is outside, and it's 2-1. and one. Again, a right-hander throwing in the Sabercat bullpen. I think it's Stephen Wright down there. And uh, whoever it is, he's got to be ready because he's been down there for more than an inning now. Just uh, throwing every once in a while. And it might be a hitter-by-hitter -hitter situation for uh, Gifford. The 3-1. And a ground ball. And that's past Stansbury and into left field. And a leadoff base hit. First hit of the ball game for a front end, just the second hit of the game for Notre Dame. In fact, to Soro out hitting the Saints three to two. And now Ryan Scott, a strikeout and a fly out in two trips. One on and Scott bunts it foul, first base side. Gifford ready. The bunt again. Bunted back to Gifford, and he's got a chance at second, and that's in time at second base. That's what Gifford wanted to do back in the fourth inning on that uh, bunt. And so Scott out on a fielder's choice. 1 6 on the force of a fronty for the first down.
Duncan Morfitt takes ball one. Thomas Lehman on as a courtesy runner this time for Scott at first base. One on, one out, bottom of the sixth inning. Saints leading the Sabercats two to one. Step and an easy throw to first. Morfitt hit a fly ball to Bloom to end the second inning, reached on an error in the fourth. And a ground ball over to Stansbury. And he throws it away. Wide of the bag at second. Potentially a chance there for a 5-4-3 double play, but instead an E5. And that puts runners at the corners with one away. And now time called. Coach Dyer coming out of the dugout, and we'll see if that's it for Gifford. We play in the bottom of the sixth inning. It's 2-1 to one, Notre Dame. Hunter Braz at the plate, couldn't hold up his swing, and he's down a strike. Saber can't stay with Stephen Gifford here in the sixth. <laughs> Notre Dame's changed their approach a little bit here in the last couple of innings. Got the squeeze on, and the ball bunted down the first baseline. Mayer will apply the tag, but the run is in. Hunter Braz with the squeeze. Lehman scores, and the Saber Cats are down two again. So the squeeze successful to give Notre Dame a 3-1 lead over Sawaro. Morfitt goes to second base. And the batter is Devin Young. And another ball on the field, this time from the Sabercat bullpen. Young walked in the third, bounced into a double play to end the fourth. And that bounces in, and that'll move the runner to third base. That error earlier in the inning for Sawara, their fifth of the ball game. Fastball high, and it's 2-0. and all. Pitch over the outside corner, a strike, and it's 2-1. and one. Three runs for Notre Dame, all unearned. The 2-1 pitch. Oh, and that's a called strike, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Two two pitch. And a swing and a miss. Young strikes out, and that ends the Saints sixth inning. But a big insurance run across for Notre Dame. One run on one hit. One error, one left. We go to the seventh. Notre Dame three. And Sawara one. Bottom third of the order for the Saber Cats. In the seventh, Jack Jeffries leads off and takes inside for ball one. Jeffries struck out to end the second, and he struck out in the fifth. 12 strikeouts for Saints pitchers tonight. And a swing and a miss. It's one and one. The 1-1 one -one pitch. And a high chopper. Foppy hustles, fields, throws. And out to call at first base. Boppy with a good play to hurry, and then a nice play at first by Morfitt to field the low throw that bounced in there. So 6-3 ground out is how the Sabercats begin the seventh inning, and the batter is Luke Eichstee. First pitch low for a ball. Eichstee with a base hit his last time up. 
fact, he got the first base hit of the ball game for the Sabercats, came with two outs in the fifth. The next one misses outside, and it's 2-0. and oh. JT Nettleton next. And that one fouled off, and it's 2-1. and one. You know, I said that was uh, the first base hit, and I might have said that uh, when it happened in the fifth, but uh, looking back through here, and I missed that JT Nettleton had that infield single back in the third inning. So it's actually four hits for the uh, Sabercats. And Ixty sends one out to right center field. That's going to get in the gap out in right center and go up to the fence. Ixty will take a turnaround second. He's going to try for third base. And no throw to third. It's a one-out triple. And the Saints give up the triple there. And the Sabercats will bring the tying run to the plate in the top of the seventh. Ixty with his first triple of the year, his second hit of the night. And now the batter, J.T. Nettleton. So Nettleton two for two, had the infield single in the third and then singled again in the fifth. And the first one to Nettleton high for a ball. The 1 0 pitch. Under the hands on the inside corner, a strike, and it's 1 and 1. Top of the seventh. Saguaro trailing Notre Dame 3 to 1. The 1 1 pitch. That's bounced in. It goes to the backstop, and boy, Saguaro. Yeah, I guess they don't want to make a mistake here with only one out. They don't want to lose that run. And so. Now you look back and how big is that run in the sixth inning on that squeeze play for the Saints. And a 2-1 pitch. And a ground ball will get the run in. Samples throws to first base. And the Saints will trade the run for the out. An RBI ground down off the bat of JT Nettleton. As Ixy scores, it's now 3-2. And uh, the Sabercats down to their final out here in the seventh inning. Yeah, the batter, Ben Lagusis. So Lagusis has to find a way to get on here. And, yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't be surprised to see him try to lay down a bunt here, even with two outs in the inning. Young will creep in at third base. And Lagusis takes a fastball outside for ball one. Young still a step or two behind the bag at third, but a, he'll come in as the pitch comes to the plate, and Lagusa swings and misses, and it's one and one. Yeah, ben trying to reach to get Turner Lace to the plate for the Sabercats in the seventh inning. So we're all down three to two, the one one pitch. That's outside, and it's two and one. Two one pitch from Halloran. Bounced in for ball three, three and one. Well, you want to be sure of this pitch here, and you don't want to swing at anything coming out of the zone. The set and the three one. Over the outside corner, a strike, and it's three and two. Three two pitch popped up and that'll get uh, just over the fence on the third base side out of play. Three balls, two strikes on Ben Lagusis. A run in for the Saber Cats here in the top of the seventh inning, but they trail Notre Dame three to two. That's no consolation, but a much better showing tonight here for the Saber Cats against Notre Dame. That pitch over. For a call third strike, Lagus is not able to pull the trigger, and he strikes out to end the ball game. The Sabercats get a run on a base hit, and uh, do not leave anybody on base in the seventh inning. And we go final from Notre Dame as Saguaro falls to the Saints by a score of three.
to two. Totals on the ball game for Saguaro, two runs on five hits. They commit five errors, and they leave five runners on base. Notre Dame scores three runs on two hits, no errors, and five runners left. The winning pitcher is Devin Durad. He goes to 5-0 and on the season. The loss goes to Stephen Gifford. He falls to 2-1, and and Jimmy Halloran gets another save, his third of the year for Notre Dame. Saguaro falls to 12-13 and on the season, and they go to 7-7 seven and seven in power point play. Notre Dame improves to 19-5 and five overall, and they go to 11-1 in power point ball games. Saints will host Desert Mountain on Friday night right here at Notre Dame. Sabercats will be on the road on Friday afternoon over at Shadow Mountain High School. So that'll do it. Again, our final score, it's Notre Dame 3 and Saguaro 2. From Notre Dame Prep in Scottsdale, Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long. We'll talk to you Friday afternoon when Saguaro travels to Shadow Mountain.